guys, M13 here, and uh, I'm doing something that I never do. Actually, I've only ever done this. I've lived in Taiwan for, I don't know, <laughs> I really don't know, roughly roughly 50, 15 years, and uh, I've only ever done this once, and that's riding a motorcycle all the way to Taipei City. And this evidently is a university area, because it's like young people everywhere. It's all like 20-something-year-old hot chicks. I was just gonna say, it seems to be all women too, but I'm guessing there's guys, I just don't notice them, you know? <laughs> I was just like, I'm like, it's all 20 something year old women, it's all women. And then I realized, no, there's probably guys too, I just don't, I just don't notice them. There's tons, man. first gear all the time I wouldn't speed as much because first gear the rev limiter is right around the speed limit <laughs> so it actually like if I just stayed in first gear all the time then I wouldn't be able to speed because I'd just be bouncing off the speed the, the rev limiter every time I'm, I reach the speed limit uh, yeah so this is this is really rare for me uh, I just saw a gas station there a, a little bit back ago. I made a U-turn to go to a gas station, which was, you know, cost me a bit of time because I had to make a U-turn and then I had to uh, try to get back out going the right direction again. I could have just, you know, headed another kilometer up and went to a gas station on the same side of the street as me. And as you can see, this is why... Uh, what's this? This truck just swerved towards me. This is why I don't do this very often because... Taipei City, the capital of Taiwan, is you get nothing but uh, traffic lights and traffic. Oh, you fucker. What a piece of shit. See, what you got there is you got one turn lane and then one straight lane. And then the guy in the straight lane decides to turn left and blue boxes in the fucking bus. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna knock his mirror off, and then I remembered I was recording, so I didn't do it. And now I'm regretting doing it because I'm thinking you guys probably would like to see me do it, but it's not. not it, I don't know if I could necessarily show that. It's a male. <laughs> I taught my wife that uh, milf means a uh, pretty married woman, or like a. a, a just a pretty mother. Yeah, that's what I tell my I tell my wife that MILF means, like, it means if a woman's a mother and she's still pretty, then she's a MILF. <laughs> so my wife, sometimes she'll, 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 she'll see a woman with a, a kid and she'll be like, oh, she's a MILF. And I'm like, yeah, she is a MILF. Uh... Yeah, this is, this is it's, it's, uh, it's Friday, so the traffic's gonna, gonna be worse than normal. But it's like the middle of the day. It's noon, 12:15. <laughs> I'm going to a motorcycle shop. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm uh, doing my business. I'm like selling Scott Oilers. I'm visiting like every motorcycle shop in the country. That's an exaggeration. Uh, I'm visiting all the main motorcycle shops in the country, and that's not an exaggeration. And uh, I'm going to uh, yeah just be trying to sell Scott Oilers. I've put a lot of money and uh, a good, good amount of work into this already, so hopefully, fingers crossed. I, I honestly love Scott Oilers, uh, you know, for me. I enjoy, it, it's, just, it's just one less stress when you're riding, and, uh, and, and, and the whole thing with riding is it's, it's supposed to be like a relaxing, stress relieving uh, activity, and uh, anything that makes it more Stress V is just another thing, you know, to make, whoa, she was nice, you guys didn't see her, did you, I turned my head too quick, she was nice, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making videos where I, like, approach <laughs> these women that I'm, I'm looking at, I don't know, uh, you know, like, I tell people I'm shy, and people are like, I get that all the time, and people just don't believe me. There's like, whatever, you're shy. The guy dances on the street and stuff, and it's like, yeah, well, I got him. You know, I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> it's, it's like people don't believe that I'm shy, but I am. It's 
So for me to be able to do that, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a bit of a, a bit of courage. I have like a shy barrier. Um, it's like a uh, yeah, like a you know, like a, it's like a, a barrier, like a limit, like a block. But the thing is, once I push past that block, then I'm fine. You know what I mean? Um, like if I'm in public, it's difficult for me to do something that'll get a lot of attention on me. But once I do do something like that, and then I can just continue with it, or I can take it m further, or much, much further, you know what I mean? It's that initial uh, switch from normal person to mental case. I have difficulty making that switch, but as soon as I do make that switch, then I can just, I can go all out. Like, I'll, I'll you know, I'd run naked through a mall while, like, singing opera, you name it. But it, but it, I, for me to just to get past that first little bump into craziness, it, it's it's difficult. It's, it's all age too. Back when I was younger, I'd, I'd I'd walk up to complete strangers all the time, like chicks. I'd just walk up, walk up to girls on the street. It was a, pretty much a daily occurrence, you know. I remember being like 15 years old, and well, I think everyone's pretty brave when they're young and dumb though, aren't they? Teenagers. Hopefully my battery and my GPS isn't going to run out before I actually get to my destination. Because <laughs> if it does, I'm pretty much screwed. I don't have a charger on my motorcycle, so I just, uh, I just put the GPS here and it's running off the battery. And then the GPS today wasn't fully charged when I started the ride, so I'm like, I don't know how much I know how much I know how, how many hours I can get out of it on a full charge. I don't know how, but it's not. It doesn't have a full charge right now. So I didn't plan this day very well either. There's like two or three different places I want to visit in Taipei City. Okay, that's a blonde-haired girl, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl walking down the street. She was white. Another gas station. That's, that's what my wife is. My wife's like short, voluptuous, cute, and then trashy. But actually, when I first met her, she wasn't she wasn't trashy at all. When I first met her, um, she was like a, she was just a quiet, nice virgin with a huge huge rack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's change the topic. Let's just kill the video, how about that?